Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we're going to look at the messaging service in Apex Path. As you may have already seen in another video, um, units will send out navigation messages when they navigate around um, that you can subscribe to and react to. Uh, and in the same manner, you can define your own messages and send these around um, to interested subscribers. Um, this is a good way to communicate between entities that don't need to know uh, of each other uh, in a nice and decoupled way. You can communicate uh, using messages. So um, for this example we're going to use the example classes uh, in the Apex Path example project. Um, I have set up a scene here as you can see um, with a unit and I have created some triggers, uh, three of them. Uh, and these triggers each have this manipulating uh, attribute manipulating trigger attached to them which means that they will apply or remove certain attributes from the unit if it moves into them. If you're not clear on what attributes are, uh, there are uh, two videos explaining attributes. But for this example the important part is simply that something changes, something happens and we would like to be notified when these things occur. So let's look at the example code. So in here in the examples project um, there are a number of um, classes obviously we have three to look at um, that has to do with messaging. We have a subscriber, uh, a poster and the message itself. So let's start by looking at the message. To create a message it's simply just a class. Uh, it doesn't need to implement any inf interfaces or anything. It's just a custom class that you could define yourself um, in any way you want. In this case we have uh, called it message attributes changed and it provides access to the entity uh, that had its attributes changed. Next up um, we have the poster. Here I've uh, derived from the attributed component. This is by no means a requirement. It has nothing to do with messaging. Um, the only thing that has to do with messaging in this class is what you see down here. So it gets the message bus and then it posts a message. Now in this particular case it does so in the attribute changed um, function of this attributed component because it wants to alert others that might be interested that this unit's attributes just changed. So it creates a new message, a message of type message attribute changed that we just saw, passing itself as the reference. For subscribing to these messages we have a subscriber. Now subscribing evol involves a few more steps. Um, the first is that you need to implement uh, the proper iHandle message interface. As you can see this is a generic interface so that you will, for each of the type of message that you want to handle, you implement this iHandle message and then the type of the message you want to handle. Implementing this means implementing this method called handle and then the type of the message. In our case we are handling this message attribute changed and the handler simply debox to the console uh, the name of the entity and uh, the attributes that it now possesses. The second part about subscribing, um, this was about handling uh, the subscription you could say. Um, the next thing you need to do when subscribing is to actually subscribe and unsubscribe. So on the message bus as you can see there's a subscribe me method and I subscribe. This is the simplest way of doing it since I only handle one message I can just say subscribe this and unsubscribe this. If I were to handle multiple messages I would need to explicitly state which type of message I would subscribe to and unsubscribe from. But this is all there is to it um, and this way you can set up numerous different um, messages that you want to send around and subscribe and post uh, from units or components um, to other components. 
So let's just see this in action real quick. Um, I'm just going to add this one component in here. It doesn't really matter where. I'm just going to add it here. So this is the message subscriber right here. So now when I start my scene and I have my unit here and then when he moves into these various triggers he will then be now he got the orange team attribute assigned to him and moving on now he gets some others added one removed one and so forth okay so the important part to take away from this is that right now this message subscriber has no idea who's sending the message has no idea that this is the unit he will obviously get in this particular case he will get a reference to the unit when he receives the message because the message contains a reference but messages do not need to t contain unit references it can contain whatever information you want uh, the subscriber to receive so that's it for um, setting up messages and uh, subscribing to them and posting them now one last thing um, I'll just very briefly touch on is that we have two different uh, types of message buses in Apex Path. The default message bus, as we see here, um, well, you will always reference the message bus like this, but you can uh, set up uh, a different message bus uh, instead of the default one. Um, the difference being that the default one is fairly simple, so it is not leak proof. This means that you need to do this. You need to unsubscribe yourself from the message bus once your um, behavior goes out of scope. Otherwise, you will leave this subscription. It will simply not be garbage collected because uh, the message bus will keep a reference to it. However, this default message bus is faster because it doesn't have to take care of these things it doesn't have to worry about being uh, whether or not it leaks or whether or not uh, it is called from multiple threats so if you just remember to do this then you should be fine using the default message bus if for some reason you do not want to have to unsubscribe or you would like to be able to call your message bus from multiple threats you should use the advanced message bus now the only difference that makes is that to use that you simply add it and the most appropriate uh, place to do that is on the game world um, so simply to override uh, the default message bus um, you simply go in and override it with um, the advanced message bus um, so under common um, you have a few options and one of them is advanced message bus so adding that to the scene now will simply replace the default implementation with the impl advanced implementation um, you won't see any differences when uh, we actually run the scene and it will do ex the exact same thing but in this case it will actually be leak proof so I would don't really need to unsubscribe from this particular message bus Okay, I hope that made sense. That was all about messaging in Apex Path.